hello guys welcome back to my channel it's um completion of march teaser on once there was a king 2022 stay tuned on this update lakan tells inter vadan to celebrate the child that swan lakan would be bringing to the house and confronts indra vadan requesting him to send swan lakan along with him but the ranima brings in the much awaited cow and orders cow to kill Gayatri, and seeing Kao attack Gayatri, Swalikan intervenes and gets pierced with a flying knife. Kao starts killing the castle guards, and Indravadan gets engaged in a battle with Kao. Ma Rajmata shows up in the scene and saves Lakan. Gayatri also says that she would not be leaving Amicord and would strive to get justice for her husband's death. Swalika gives birth to a girl while Gayatri's child is also born. Gayatri's daughter's eyes are closed when she's born and she's lying still. Carl pulls out the arrow from his chest and tells Gayatri that her visit to Amicot would lead to her death. Rajmata is flabbergasted seeing Gayatri being attacked by Badiranima. Gayatri hands over her child to Rajmata and asks her to guide her. Kao frees himself and begins his killing on the people of Amekot. But the Rani Ma asks Kao to visit Amekot and convince people to vote for him in the elections. A sports event is held by Kao in which Rani too participates. Rani and her competitor climb a tall tree and walks across it. Accidentally, she stumbles and falls. Rani comes across Swalikan and she is instantly fond of the girl. But the Ranima asks Kao to sign on some papers and accidentally Kao drops the pain on the floor. But the Ranima tells that whichever woman completes clothes teaching challenge would receive a grand prize from Kao. Kao says that one should kill others in order to rise up. Swalikan along with her daughter reaches a location as described on a note where she is confronted by a stranger who tells her that he is her future husband. Rajishwari distributes food to all and finally Rajmata is the only one left. But the Ranima later feels Raja's ears against his father as she attends to his injuries. When Rani says that her full name is Rani Gayatri, but the Ranima doubts become stronger. Rani takes Jevan's food right from under his nose and tells him that till the time he reveals the truth to Kao, he would not get any food. But the Ranima catches her and questions her as to what she's trying to do. Rani figures out the meaning and knows that the answer to the widow is her dog, Kali Prasad. But the Ranima then gives Rani a punishment to clean the entire hallway in the palace without any help. Rajeshwari expresses her disappointment towards Kao for giving more importance to Swalekan. While playing the lifestyle game of sneak and ladders, Rani comes to the last stop and Rani Ra asks her a tough riddle and one also tells her that if she gives a wrong answer to that, she would be hit with a stick a hundred times. Raja excitedly informs Rani about how he had spilled food on Jevan's clothes and had and had him scolded by Kao. Rajmata is shocked to see Kao and Badiranima among the chief guests and leaves from the ceremony. Raja meets Rani and gives her all his savings. Lakan ends up shocked when he stands face to face with Swalikan and the two of them are instantly lost in each other. Raja expresses his disappointment towards Badiranima for her behavior against Rani. Raja refuses to believe that Rani has befriended Jevan, but is furious when he sees the two of them playing around with each other. Lakan is trying to sneak into the palace to meet his daughter Bindu. Lakan says that he can no longer wait to meet his daughter and wants to go to with Swalekan to meet her. But she refuses and asks him to wait for one more day. Rani puts on the frock she was gifted and claims that nobody would recognize her at the Rajmahal in her new attire. 
Raja scolds Rani and says that he does not wish to talk to her. Rajamata decides to follow a secret path to enter the Rajmahal. Kao scolds Raja and Javan for not concentrating on their education. Badiranima plots something and narrates her plan to one of her trusted guards. When Badiranima decides to kill Swalekan, Lekan speaks up and tells Badiranima that he would take her to Rajmata's house only if she frees Swalekan. Later, the guards tell Badiranima that Lekan might have lied in order to escape. Months pass and Raja's hatred for his father begins to grow. He makes up his mind to do exactly the opposite of what his father wants from him. Rani thinks that she is breaking the promise she made to Rajmata by going to Amikot, but also feels that she has no other option other than this. The receptionist tells Devika that a private room has been allotted for the topper named Rani Gayatri. Rajveer and also announces that Gayatri is the topper who has just joined this university. Gayatri visits her class where a political science teacher questions Gayatri about Indians' independence. Gayatri says that though the country has attained its freedom, people still need to get free. Okay guys, thank you for watching March Tissa on Once There Was a King. Stay tuned for more updates. Bye.